Bauxite is an amazing thing. You know, of course, just like any baby that you see kind of grow, you know, from the beginning stages, Bauxite is that. It's grown to be so much outside of just containers. It's just a place to gather. It's a place for, you know, business owners to network and collaborate and, you know, exchange ideas. It's a place for music lovers and cultural lovers and just all of those different industries to kind of mesh into one. And I've met so many different people, like I said, inside the neighborhood, outside of the neighborhood, people who have found themselves drawn to this area because of the newness and the, you know, the whole innovativeness of the containers. I've been able to meet a lot of people, including the neighbors um, here in the medical district in the edge. And just getting a chance to, to meet people and kind of own my skills in a sense of retail. This store, it's kind of a culmination of me, of every element of me. I'm a, a quirky black girl who loves music and so, and loves art and loves culture. So you see a little bit of everything. I was able to be very hands-on and in that, I've kind of brushed up my knowledge. I've learned so much. I had to learn so much about technology, so much about retail, about purchasing and, you know, and all of these different things, again, that I've known by textbook, you know, based off my education, but never really got a chance to just delve into it and get hands, in, you know, hands on. And I actually love it. Well, I've been deeply impacted by the networking opportunities as well as the development opportunities, the classes, particularly after COVID, you know, as far as the, the workshops and the seminars, the hustle series to, um, in particular has been really great. And it's a great thing for, you know, especially starting out with something new to kind of have that, um, the training wheels, so to speak. So medical district, the collaborative has been great. Starting off in a container, I was worried because it's like, okay, will I have enough space? But I found out that this container is actually the perfect size it kind of let me curate my store so i can really you know really have a a grip on what sells what does not sell you know a lot of times in retail i think that a lot of people tend to want to fill up their space um and so you end up getting a whole bunch of stuff that may be sitting there may not be sitting there it can be very generic um with this small and intimate space i've literally treated like a museum so I've been allowed to meet my vendors, talk to them, really kind of custom and craft a lot of the things that we sell in the store. Um, and this space has allowed me to do that and um, just really experiment with what I want to do and what I want to do in retail. And just to know that I've been here from the very beginning really sinks in, like I've owned a business for a year. I've been a part of something, you know, for a whole year and something that was totally different. Um, something that I had never really done before and succeeded at it and became successful at it. And I feel like the growth of Kickspins, of course, has grown along with bo Boxlot. This was the little engine that could, in a sense. I have decided that I do want to keep Kickspins going as a brick and mortar, so I, I will definitely be looking into spaces in the neighborhood. I love this neighborhood. We love to keep it in the medical district. It's growing. I love the, um, the, the appearance of a lot of black-owned restaurants, and so I look forward to kind of standing in this neighborhood and building on the synergy. I usually see people when they post and they'll post my record store finds or they'll put on their Memphis Old t-shirt. So really seeing the Memphis Old brand pop up in so many, you know, spaces overseas and just really seeing how my little 250 foot container can contain a brand that's managed to go global.